Hi guys, here's a quick trick. I know some of you viewers out there love it when we do these one or two minute routines. This falls into that category. You introduce just two decks of cards, red and blue. And this is a routine that was shown to me many years ago and it uses the red cards and the blue cards. I'm going to take from the red cards uh, the two red aces. There's one and there's two. So we've got the two red aces from the red pack and from the blue pack I'm going to remove the black aces which is the clubs and the spades somewhere. Well there's one and there's the other one. Okay. That's all we're going to do is use a pair of aces. Now watch this. I'm going to put these in here like that. And we take the red and we put them like that. Doesn't look anything fancy at the moment. The reds and the blues. Watch closely. You see, I've got this magical power that can cause things to happen invisibly. In other words, I'm going to cause these two aces to transfer over to here and these two to transfer over to here. You just put your hands over and just wave your fingers like that. Yeah, well, not quite what you was expecting. But trust me, I really have exchanged the aces. You see, the aces that we had here are now the ones from the red pack. And the aces we got here are from the blue pack. And that is a perfect invisible transposition. Have you ever been fooled? by another magician. He shows you one of his tricks and it just blows you away and you think wow that was incredible and then when he shows you how it was done you kind of feel a bit stupid because it was so simple and this is what this falls into. Now I know some of you experts out there are going to say well it didn't fool me. Well think about doing this on the lay person. It's very simple nothing special needed all you're going to do is to remove before you start you remove the two red aces from the blue pack and put them over here and you remove the two black aces from the red pack and put them over here you put these in like that and the same with these. So the transposition has already happened before the trick has even begun. Now I tend to keep them quite low down in the pack so that when you bring these out of the box you can spread them. Okay. Everything is illusion because as far as your audience are concerned everything seems quite casual. Now don't make this a big routine. In fact this is something I normally do in a lead up to my full routine of tricks. You just grab out a couple of decks of cards. Uh, sometimes I even bring out just one deck and then I kind of pretend I want to do a quick trick before I start. And I kind of say, ah, that reminds me. Let me show you this. And I introduce a blue deck. So it almost seems to the audience like it was an afterthought, that it wasn't actually part of your routine. You've got blue boxes, blue, red, blue cards, red cards. Everything seems normal. And you casually remove the black aces like this. And you then say we'll remove the red aces and you can remove these from here like that. Now you can then start to put these in to the pack so they stick out 
like this. What I like about this as a faller is the fact that although the trick's already ended, nobody in the audience realises what's going to happen next. So at this stage, they're not thinking about the colours of the backs. They've just seen you remove the, the pairs of aces. When you give it all this fancy move, and then suddenly, maybe if you turn this over and you show them that actually the transposition has happened, and these came from the blue deck, and these ones have come from the red, it looks a perfect transposition. So simple, it's one of those tricks, a bit like the cross-cut force, as a magician, you think it wouldn't fool anyone. But trust me, I've done this for years, just as a sideline trick, and it works every time. The great thing about this is you're all set up and, and ready to go. Now, one thing before anyone asks a question, what about the other aces? Well, I have actually removed those. Here they are the other pairs of aces because if you don't remove all of the aces then they may see you've got four black aces and four red aces in one pack so I tend to remove these at the start and put them in your pocket and you can add them as you start to perform more magic simple and sweet till next time practice and have fun